morning, all empathic sensitive souls. My last week using my beautiful cup for coffee in the morning. This is my last official Monday at home. I'm heading back to work on Friday. Officially full-time Friday. It's going to be interesting because I enjoy drinking my cup of coffee at home. Peace, solitude. I don't have to struggle to get ready and head into work and the drive and all that fun stuff. But I'm looking at it like Frankenstein? No, maybe not Frankenstein. Rip Van Wrinkle. I'm returning back to the living world. I could be a zombie. Who knows? I have to put a positive spin on it. Otherwise, my brain likes to spiral out of control and I worry. So this is why these morning mantras are so beneficial to me. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? The first time I told my niece about them, she looked at me like, hey, you're crazy. And then I worked with my great niece and turned her life around within 10 days. And my niece was like, you're not as crazy as you look. It is amazing how talking positively to yourself or choosing a mantra that means something to you that you can put on repeat in your head with your own voice. You can even record yourself saying them because hearing it in your voice is part of the key to changing your brain, to changing that chemical structure of your brain because your brain believes whatever it hears come out of your mouth. And wouldn't it be nice to wake up even grumbly, but gosh, it's going to be a good day today. It's another day that the Lord has given me. What's wrong with that kind of attitude? This week's mantra is, I trust in the process of life and let go of worry. That is what I'm having to do. I am living that, right? Because I have to go back into work. So I breathe in calm and peace and I breathe out the stress and the worry. I trust in the process of life. And I let go of the worry because I know whatever is going on around me I'm supposed to be doing this. Am I happy about having to go back into work? Eh, not really because I love being home. I love the peace. I love the quiet. I love the not worrying about getting to work on time and punching the clock and that added stress in my life. And the people, I'm so used to being in my own bubble without the energies of so many people pushing at me. But there is some excitement there because I am returning to the land of the living. And I find I don't interact a lot with people, but I didn't react, interact with any person while I was, while I was home. Well, I am home yet except for by phone. So there's some excitement, but there's some dread. And the fear for me is I will become super stressed out again. And I don't want to go back to that point. But I've got a lot of tools now. Part of my tools are the morning mantras. I have them posted on my computer at work. I am more than good enough. I am worthy. I have value. I am worth what the universe has to offer me. I am loved. I am loved, right? 
all these mantras that during that moment of uh, dread, when I'm sitting at my desk, I can glance over at my mantras and go, I am good enough. I can set my boundaries and yeah, they, they, they can push on my bubble all they want, but I'm okay. Last week's mantra, I, or the week before, I am calm, I am centered, I am strong. This too shall pass, and I will emerge stronger. I breathe in peace, I breathe out stress. And this week, I trust in the process of life and let go of worry. I have to trust that I'm on the right path. I have to trust in divine timing that it's time for me to go back into the land of the living. I have to trust in the process. Doesn't mean I have to be happy about it all the time, but I have to trust. I have to let go of that worry and say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing now. Do I have control of my life? Well, sure. Everybody has self-control. Everybody has the moment of you get to make the decision of whether you turn left or right or go straight or heck, go in reverse if you want. Not that I'm going that way, but if I had to, we all have those options. But I have to trust. And trust is hard. Because where does my brain go? Well, you know what the happened the last time you, you okay, whatever, and it was a disaster. Remember that time? But that was in a space where I was very unhappy. I'm in a different space now. I'm okay. Remember, I am more than good enough. I am perfect just the way I am right now in this very moment. I breathe in peace. I breathe out stress. I trust in the process of my life. And I let go of the worry. Isn't that what we do when we say our prayers at night? You're trusting that God has your back. That he doesn't give you anything more than you can handle. Right? We got this. We can do this. Not with my beautiful cup, of course. I'll have to take my stainless steel one in because I got to travel with it. And I don't want to drop this one because this one is way too pretty. Trust in the process. Just let go of the worry and trust. And it is so hard. It's like doing that exercise where you have to trust that people are standing behind you and will catch you as you fall back. I have never been able to do that. But I've never been around a group of people that would have my back. And I've never been put to the test to test that theory out. And I'm okay with that. But we have to trust. I trust that the universe will catch me if I fall, if I sit down for a moment and rest. Because work, it's stressful at work. There's always the next thing coming up. There's always people saying, hey, you forgot this. Did you do this? It gets very stressful. I really, really wish that it would be an Atta girl once in a while. And I try to maybe even in a funny way, but not joking, say add a girl to my coworkers. Like, wow, that's freaking amazing. I can't believe you remember that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Right? Even though I, it's, it can be a little over the top and they're like, get out of here. It makes a difference in how they act and react. It's, I'm trying to put that positivity forth. I'm trying. Again, 
I have to trust that I'm on the right path. I have to trust in the universe. I have to trust in myself. And I think that's one of the hardest ones is trusting myself that I can do this. I got this. I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be at any given moment. The universe knows. Thank you, Ashley. I just saw your comment. Yes, I love my cup. It is so pretty and it's matching today. I normally wear blues, but today I found a red shirt because it's Power Red Monday. That's what I'm going for. Believe. Believe in yourself. Relax. The universe has got your back. Family, friends, those close to you. Together, we can hold hands. We can stand strong and tall. Trying to throw some positivity into a negative spot, it's hard, but I do it. I like it, it for whatever reason it has a tendency to really irritate people I work with. I love music. I love humming. Sometimes I'll sing little ditties. No, I don't sing very well, but that's the whole point. And it, you put those little worms in people's ears with whatever song you're singing as you're walking down the hall. And there's no cheerfulness there. And that's really frustrating for me because I like to think I'm a cheerful person overall. Yes, I have my ups and downs. Who doesn't? There's moments of stress. You're like, Ugh. or I'm tired because my gosh, it's early Monday morning. Ugh. Right? But I try to be positive. I try to be upbeat. And boy, does it irritate them, which of course, then it makes me do it even more. <laughs> Silly me. Ladies, have a fantastic Monday. Remember, trust in the process and let go of the worry. Trust yourself. You've got this. We've got this. If you need help, if you need a shoulder to cry, if you need a hand to hold, if you need somebody to tell you some ridiculous joke, let me know. Post it in the comments. Keep me posted on how life is going. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee. I'm going to get signed into work because it's Monday morning. My last official Monday at home. I'm sad. But kind of excited. And I'll ride that excitement wave as far as I can take it. Take care, ladies. Bye for now.